Hey peeps, welcome to another gameplay video. Today we'll be covering part 5 of Spider-Man. So let me just give you a quick recap of what we have covered so far. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions, being willing to say, yeah, that was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be at least. We are at Fisk Real Estate sale museum where Mary Jane arrived as an undercover reporter looking for a very mysterious figure. Hmm, wonder what that might be. Bedfisk saw himself in this. A great man willing to do what others wouldn't. Dude had no self-awareness. This scene actually takes place 15 minutes before our last journey with Spider-Man. Mary Jane actually lied to get in here so the statue she's looking for must be very important. <sighs> Fisk cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. One interesting fact to note down here is that Mary Jane actually knows who Peter Parker is. He's Spider-Man. So we are actually moving around in this room inspecting the art pieces. I remember when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including my dad. Wish Dad was here now to see how the tables have turned. Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. I wouldn't actually disagree with Mary Jane. She's partially correct, but <laughs> anyways, who am I to judge that, right? So playing as a different character in this game apart from Peter Parker is pretty cool. A very interesting feature added. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. What did Fizz call this? Vanessa? Okay, enough of inspecting art. I believe you all guys are actually getting bored looking into this. Uh, anyways, let's proceed. Let's let's get along. Come on, let's go. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. I think you forgot the photograph. Same tactic as last time we played as Spider-Man. We take out a camera and we adjust a subject in frame and we click a picture. Wish I could click amazing pictures like this in real life. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. I wonder if there are any clues in here. That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. We were able to finally sneak into the room without a curator noticing us and as you can see in the picture that is the statue that we were looking for and it's kind of a puzzle that the game is providing us with so we need to investigate. Hmm. He's holding something. We need to remember this. Uh, we will be requiring this item. Statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. There you go, that's the solution to the puzzle. The game actually told us that. This is the exact position that we need to impose on the statue, so let's go. The catalog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. The left arm needs to be down, the right palm needs to face forward, and we need to close the mouth. There you go. Nice. So close. But a piece is missing. Take a look spidey sense a bit. The missing piece we were talking about a few seconds back. I've seen these before. So we need to find the correct piece from all these set of pieces available to us at our disposal in this case and we can actually investigate them. We can take them and apply it on the statue and see if it works or not. Something's in one of his hands. What is that? Let's try this one, shall we, folks? That's it. Norman Osborne. What is this? Devil's breath. 
What is devil's... What the... Excuse me, sir. You... you can't be... Not good. Where's the statue? In... in... in there. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. Devil's Breath, that sounds interesting anyways. Uh, now that the demon thugs are behind the file that Mary Jane has, we need to Eliminate all the thugs very steadily, very slowly and silently, and we need to also escort Mary Jane out of this place. Yeah, we need to keep this as quiet as possible. We did a few birds takedowns just before this moment. I'm trying to lure the enemies now and again taking them down one by one silently. Let's see how that pans out. There we go. One more enemy left, as you can see there, to lure. Uh, let me just lure him, and there he is coming to investigate this area. Let me just do the perch takedown on him, and I believe the room is clear now for us to proceed. Okay, room is clear. A lot of questions may popping up in your head while watching this video is that who are these thugs basically? Why are they wearing those scary masks? And what are they up to? Why are they after this file that Mary Jane has? And also with the devil's breath that we have just discovered. Keep it tight, Pete. We have been uh, executing the purge takedowns and the silent takedowns for quite some time so I thought why not do something else, why not try some spider toys that we have at our vicinity, maybe the impact web and let's see how that goes. Oops, sorry, <laughs> that was not stealthy at all. Damn it! That's all of them. No! Let me go! MJ! <laughs> Not cool, but the house is taking guys. Whoa, what is up with that glowing stuff on your hand? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I fought specters, but you know, technically, specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? One thing to notice here is that the demon thugs are hitting us with something glowy, so wonder what that is. Seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. Huh? Oops, that is what I was talking about. Damn it! That that's that's quite dangerous. That's quite powerful. Uh let me toss that and just need to launch him. Air launch, yeah. Air launch him and hit him on the brick.
So this is an interesting plot point. You have to remember this, my dear viewers, is that what is this glowing thing that these demon thugs are using? Is this some kind of a special power? Because that is quite powerful as you saw right now. Daily cardio? Check. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. She cleared out that other room. Uh, you know, hold them for transport. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You, you will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That, I, I don't. What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? <sighs> oh, isn't that sweet, the texting between Mary Jane and Peter Parker? Okay, so we are on a date. Let's go! <laughs> How did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Mm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A well, lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys, and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. And that was a legendary cameo by the man Stanley himself, the legend, the American comic book writer who was Marvel Comics' primary creative leader. Rest in peace, sir. Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. Peter, I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep, please. The people who great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. That car crash looks bad. 
Hope no one's injured. So actually before going for Shocker and trying to stop him, this is the current objective right now. So while traversing through the city and swinging my way through it, I actually encountered this hit and run crime scene. This is quite interesting. So let me show how that works. So this is uh, actually a crime scene where citizens need to be rescued. There are two citizens which need to be rescued in this particular scene. As you can see on the top left, one is already rescued. The other one you have to find which is uh, who is trapped in these vehicles. So you can actually use your uh, spider sense. So you can just track the enemies and hostages and people trapped nearby which I did right now and I rescued him. So two out of two has been rescued. I need to find whoever caused this wreck before anyone else gets hurt. Thanks big guy. That was sweet. You're okay in my book. They deserved it. I'm losing them. Gotta catch up. So part two of this crime now is to search the runaway car that actually caused this accident. Thugs are obviously driving that. So as you can see again on the left hand side there's a tracker. So it actually denotes how much, I mean how far you are from your destination, wherever you want to go, whoever you want to track down. As you can see there, uh, it's also pointing towards the direction. So it's pretty cool the way you actually track them down and hunt them down. I believe I have reached my destination. There you go. Hope you've got points left on your licenses guys. That pile up is just need to be a bit careful here because if you get hit by one bullet, one or two bullets from these people then you will actually fall down and again you have to chase the car and then you have to stop it. So just need to dodge the bullets and the rest of the scenes are pretty easy to deal with. There you go, crime tokens received, hit and run crime has been stopped. So two out of five crime scenes here in this part of the city we have solved. Time to track down shocker. Hi, Herman. Seriously? So that is Herman Schulz, also known as Shocker, who is a career criminal and after several prison terms for robbery, he actually built a suit successfully which actually sends out shockwaves to quickly open safes as well as to give him significant advantages over Spider-Man and other people who try to stop him. He also traverses through the shockwaves as you can see here. It's very dangerous. It's very difficult also to try and catch up to him. Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. Please talk to me some <laughs> Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done. <laughs> Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move! I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice! Shocker is quite fast so it's very important to even dodge the missiles that he's trying to throw at you just like here it's very important because if you're hit by one of those missiles then you will again have to travel a long distance in order to catch him he is very fast so I'm actually losing out on him he's, he's traveling very fast I need to speed up my approach come on Spidey speed up I almost got him just a little more damn it that is what I was talking about a single hit and then it takes a lot of your health it also pushes you back again you have to travel that distance and try to catch him damn it not again come on ah. I need to focus come on Spidey no more slip ups I need to catch him as soon as possible need to speed up come on there you go Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Some 
free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Let's take a pause here and we'll continue in the next part. Well, hope you guys like this video. Until the next one, sayonara.